Welcome to a special edition of Prime Sports here on the Journeys channel. My name is Razak Musbao and for the second successive time, the club failed to at least advance to the group stages of any Africa inter-club competition. And despite winning uh, by one goal to zero in the second leg against AS Bamako on Sunday, a crowd had to folk failed to overturn the three goals deficit from the first leg. And uh, joining us in the studio to talk about the performance of the club and also recent happenings uh, in the club is board member Vincent Soa Odote. Uh, I mean, clearly, definitely passionate about the club. Uh, sir, excited to see you. I mean, it's been a very difficult Sunday, Monday for you, hasn't it? Well, it's been interesting. It's been interesting. Not too difficult, but it's just been interesting. Mm. The fact that um, yesterday was the first time we won a match in 10 matches. Uh, but, of course, with mixed emotion, we couldn't qualify because we were expecting really to qualify because of what we did last year in Africa, we were seeded. So we thought we could improve upon that. Mm. But then with the uh, unfortunate uh, misinformation and behavior of, of a few other supporters, yes, yeah, so it's been interesting, but not difficult. It's not a storm we cannot ride. We are really looking ahead to making sure that we proceed mm. with, 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 with the trajectory that we are doing to, to position the club to attain preeminence, to make sure that we are able to and make this club one of the greatest clubs in Africa. And we believe that with what we've done in infrastructure, in finance, in the success on the pitch, we are very close to achieving that. And we are not really patting ourselves uh, at our back by ourselves. I mean, uh, analysts, the GFA, our, our partners in, in Germany, Hoffenheim, uh, Cincinnati, and any visitor who comes to the club, what we take into what we are doing mm. and how we have been successful on the pitch for the past two years. Hearts of has been the most successful club in Ghana. And what we have achieved, we are pretty confident that we are on the right path and, and we, we should be able to uh, lay the foundation for a sustainable winning machines and a successful club. Mm. So we are very confident in what we are doing. I mean, what a lot of people know you particularly to be is a board member of the club, but yes. how will you describe your role in the whole Heart of Folk organization? I work in the office of the, of the executive director, Toby Apede. Mm. The club is now led and managed by Toby Apede. Since the Hearts of Folk transition, into the um, as a limited liability company. Mm. Uh, uh, we've had five managing directors, some from the FA, one of them vice president of the FA, one NCC president, chairman, another NCC secretary. Uh, the, the committee type of management has been tried myself, Frank Nelson, Thomas Esso, Aladi Akambi, to, mm. to more or less uh, mirror what was being done before we went, we went public. Mm. And then we've had two private sector managing directors, but now the executive director the majority shareholder has taken upon us to manage the uh, the um, the day to day affairs of the club, and I work in this office, so that's what I do. Mm. So, I mean, in terms of designation, you work in the office office of the executive director of the club. Interesting. Let's talk about yesterday. Yes. That was an interesting one. I mean, of course, the club one one go to zero. But tell me, what did you make of the performance of the club? Well, um, I think that um, I, I'm someone who believes that the, the data, the league table, doesn't lie. Where you are on the league table and the, the number of matches you've won shows how competitive we are. At the moment, uh, in the, at least the latter part of last season and the beginning of this season, we've not been competitive. Uh, we've played 15 away matches. We've lost eight. We won, uh, we've won one. We've, uh, we, we've drawn five. Yeah. Yesterday was the, la the first time we won a match in 10 matches. First so, time in 10 in games. Ten, in 10 games. That's so we are not competitive. Hmm. Yeah. That's why it calls for the change of, 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 of the technical leadership of the club. So yesterday, yes, um, we went into Mali. Unfortunately, we lost by three goals to Mali. We thought we could, we could do something. We put all the stops together. We prepared well, do everything uh, that we thought could motivate the boys. Unfortunately, it wasn't to be. But to me, I think that those of us who love football, those of us who are listening to me, you cannot be successful if you don't lay the right foundations. Mm. It's uh, Kotoko went away the, a few weeks ago from, uh, to Cardiago of, 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 of Burkina Faso. It's not just a flow. Our football is not competitive domestically. It's not just hearts of folk. It's not just uh, something. And that is what the board and the leadership of hearts of folk want to change. Mm. We want to make sure that we will not play second fiddle to the North Africans. It means that we need to invest in infrastructure, we need to invest in personnel, we need to look at our finances and set up a machine that will make sure that we win in a sustainable way. Football, mm. unfortunately, most of the fans don't understand. It's mm. beyond three points on Sunday. The past where we run football, where it's just three points by any means necessary 
is taking us to where we are now, where we are not competitive. We we have the talent, but we cannot achieve any sustained competitive. And that's what is born. Mm -hmm. That the Tobia Pedal the 14 we are trying to do. And we believe in what we've done. For the first time, hard to folk, we can train on our own pitch. We have four pitches at Pobiman. We're the most successful club in the past two years. As I speak to you now, our finances are up to date, up to August. Sorry, up to June 2022. Mm -hmm. Not even a lot of uh, private private firms in Ghana have their accounts up to date. In November, we're going to go to AGM, where we're going to look at the 2022 accounts. Mm. In terms of uh, uh, infrastructure, the Pobiman Academy, yes. uh, we, we have our own commercials, we are building a, a head office. Mm. In terms of competitiveness, for the past two years, out of six trophies available on the domestic front, mm. we won five. Mm. So in terms of infrastructure, in terms of uh, competitiveness in the local league, you are there. Now, after the game yesterday, there were some incidents that clearly didn't augur well for the club. And uh, there was a visual, I think that was before the game, where you were captured ex in a heated exchange. Not sure who that was. We understand is the NCC chairman. Yes. Yeah, so we're going to show that visual just to understand what happened. Why, why were you in such heated exchange? Well, uh, during the recess, uh, one of the deputy organizers of the, of the NCC approached me that they were going to, they were going to, they, they were going to beat me and Alhaji Akambi after the match if we don't qualify. They said that to you directly? He, he said that to me. His name is called Sabato or something. Mm. So he was standing next to the NCC chairman. So I went to the NCC chairman and asked him, he as the NCC chairman, why would he allow one of us to, to threaten mm. the, uh, the life of, of a director? Then mm. he remarked that we cannot continue to gag the supporters, mm. the NCC chairman. Mm. So I felt I needed to tell him that, He's behaving responsibly. I mean, you can't do that. Mm. Yes, if the if, if 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 the club you think the club hasn't done well, mm. you can you can you can express your opinion. You can you can, but you cannot threaten the lives of people. And even mm. I think after the game, was it your car? Because yes. it was a car that was yeah, yeah, yes, that was yes, whose yes, ties yes, were yes. deflated. That yeah, was your car. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, because uh, the threats that the the uh, that that they made mm. during the uh, during the recess, they mm. carried it through. Mm. They carried it through. Mm. Of course, I mean. Um, unfortunately for them, the police were there, national security, mm. um, uh, the BNI were there, so they've taken over. Mm. I'm sure most of them forgot that the whole place is, is, is wired. Mm. They, are, they are CCTVs, mm. so uh, the comments, those who made comments mm. during the recess, mm. those who were involved, whatever they made, have been captured. We understand you reported yeah. to the police. Yeah, yeah, no, no. The, the police have been, uh, went ahead, the commander at the stadium went ahead and reported to mm. their bosses and they lodged a complaint mm. that this is the incident. So mm. obviously, I'm, uh, I'm one of those uh, involved in that camp. So I had to go there also mm. to tell them my version. Mm. So the police is looking into but it. But the allegation by the fans is that you uh, and uh, Mr. Akambi and a few others are the reason why the club is at a standstill and not making progress. I, the, How do you respond to that? That is not true. Uh, the, these are, are, are comments made by people who probably want influence. They are just... Predators waiting to, to jump on any little mishap. You can ask the FA, you can ask everything. The facts don't, uh, don't like, they can have their own opinion. Mm. They cannot have their own facts. Mm. We had the most successful club in the past two years since Toby Apeda became the executive chairman. At the moment, for the first time in the history of Accra Hearts of Oak, we train on our own pitch. We don't move from um, uh, uh, renting pitches altogether. Mm. As I speak to you now today, when you go to our Pobi man, we, have, we are starting to lay, uh, roll out the, the most expansive uh, uh, artificial turf. Mm. We have four pitches mm. uh, in, 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 uh, in our academy. It's not, just sports, it's not just a football academy, it's a sports facility mm. with a mini golf, with uh, a lawn tennis, mm. basketball, mm. Uh, uh, volleyball. And then one is done, there's a plan to build a hundred mm. uh, room, three star hotel. Mm. When you come to the pitch, people will, t will say that you don't, you talk about a head office, mm. you talk about a commercial center. So you think all of these yeah. makes it unjustified for it some to not, say that you are the reason why the club is not the progressing? The club is not, the, uh, I disagree with them. The club is progressing, the club has progressed. Mm. And the, when was the last time a, a Ghanaian team was seeded in cup competitions? Mm. Only this year, Accra Hearts of Hope. Mm. But we we're the only team that beat. The, the champ, those who won uh, the club that won the Champions League mm. last year. Mm. So I disagree with but that. But in, yeah. in, in an event where you're working for a club mm. whose fans are critical as yes. far as the progress of the club is concerned and they appear not to like you, mm -hmm. I mean, how, how, how do you work with them then? How, how are you going to work I, with them? No, no, no. Because no, no, you know no. the fans are critical no, no, no. as far no, no. as the progress of the club is concerned. They are misinformed. The vision, 
the energy, the investment we put in, mm. and where we are, we are at a critical point. We are mm. on the point of no return. Why are you not helping them yes. to stay informed? Then? Because yes. you are in a very the, sensitive position to help them understand what you're doing. Because if you say they are, they are misinformed, yes. they are in a good position at, to correct at the, them. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, our biggest mistake or, or the biggest lapse in what we are doing is uh, that we we, uh, we we've not been really, really regular with telling people our achievements mm. and we've not been and, and that created a space mm. for people to just miss anybody mm. who says they don't like honorable obama or mm. can be my point mm. my point uh, with fact great what, what, what they speak about great we disagree with them mm. look uh my, my, you know, we will my, come my back friend, briefly to talk uh, yeah. about what you have for the club mm. you know going forward and also a bit on some of you, whether if he will ever return because the fans are the fans are calling for his return we'll, we'll try and get your thoughts on that very briefly all right no problem we'll take a quick break we'll be back we're speaking to Board member of Accra to for Vincent Odutaisoa. You're welcome back. But what we can assure you is that we're going to have an extended version of this very engagement. Look forward to that this week. We're going to have an extended one. But uh, Mr. Vincent, clearly time is not on our side, but what a lot of fans of Akrata folk want to know is when you will announce a substantive coach for the club. That will be pretty shortly. Uh, that will be pretty Is it going to be the Serbian that we've heard of? Well, um, I'm, I'm sure I'll wait for the announcement, but that will be, that'll be pretty We shortly. understand Anu Walker is also interested. Anu Walker is not interested in Akrata Hearts of folk. Have you engaged Anu Walker? Anu Walker is not interested. I, it I, uh, it's really amazes me when he keeps behaving in the media the way he's behaving, and he gives people the impression that he's not interested. Why do you think he's doing that? If, if he you don't must, engage him, I, I think I think um, you must you must read between the lines. He's not interested in Accra Hearts of Oak, mm. uh, so I'll plead with him to stop giving people the impression that he's interested, and people should go to summer text. Should that's, the class, that is not the truth. Should the fans ever expect uh, a return of Scott Samobwedu? Well, I can't see. Uh, for now, it's not something that the board has discussed. It's not something that the board has discussed. We, we take exception to what he did yesterday by getting onto the inner perimeter. You didn't allow him to get no, to the inner perimeter? No, we never allowed him. Then how did he get there? I asked to how he got in, how. Uh, it's, it's the same old thing. I mean, how some supporters could lead him. And then you claim that you love the club. Because that was definitely was going to distract the players. Mm. The, the board takes exception to what he did mm. uh, uh, yesterday because it's never done anywhere. Mm. I mean, I've never seen anything that Wassam Abudu did yesterday. Mm. Because we are on very good terms with him, despite the fact that we've parted ways. Mm. But what he did yesterday, mm. the club took the best exception to that. And I hope that he would not mm. uh, repeat that. He would mm. not, under any circumstance, allow any supporter, any fan of the club to lead him to do Mr. Vincent, this is your camera. Tell, what, would you, what message do you have for the fans of Akra Hato who are clearly unhappy about uh, you know, your performance? What will you tell them, your camera? Well, when you say my performance, we believe that those of us in money, those who have the privilege of leading this club this time, are on the verge. We've laid the foundation are on the verge of a big takeoff to uh, uh, of um, of the club achieving preeminence in Africa. We we can assure them that they must stay focused. They must stay calm. We those of us who are investing our time, our money, and resources. I mean, we love the claim as the club the same manner and to the extent the same extent that they do. Great. We can achieve preeminence, mm. and we would achieve preeminence uh, uh, with, with, with the investment and the foundations we laid uh, for the club. Mr. Vincent Sowa Odote has been our guest in this special one as far as the prime sports is concerned. We're going to have an extended one, I promise you that, and that will come before the end of the week. My name is Razak Musbao, and thank you for joining us.